Hey everybody, I'm Jammer. Today we're going to talk about Twilight Princess HD. Now some news just came out with the Famitsu leaks and Nintendo actually just announced it themselves about the amiibo functionality in the new game. Now, if you watch some of my past videos you, where I talked about my top five things I want in the game and then my initial reaction when they revealed it in that fall direct, it'd be an understatement to say that I was a little unimpressed. But anyways, I'd like to talk about this Mio function because I know a lot of people have been saying this is ridiculous, it shouldn't be locked behind a figure, blah blah blah. And I just kind of want to talk about it because honestly, I actually think this Mio function isn't isn't that awful. Their big debate with Mio function is for right now is they games you either use it too little or the fear is they're going to use it too much. And a lot of people are thinking they're in, this game is in that category. When in all reality, I don't think that's actually the case. If you haven't heard what the functionality is, you can use all the Zelda amiibo. For example, Link and Toon Link, they'll replenish your arrows. Zelda and Sheik, they can replenish hearts. I believe it's full, but that was just what the trailer showed. It might not be actually completely full, but we'll have to see once they further disclose it. Those four set of four can only be used once per day. Then the Ganondorf amiibo, he can, you can scan as many times as you want, and he basically enacts like another hero mode. Now there's the rumor from Amazon France saying that there already is a hero mode in the game where you take double damage, but Ganondorf over here will change the heart bar to blue, and basically you again take two times on top of that. So potentially with hero mode and the Ganondorf amiibo, you could do times four, and it'd be a really awesome and challenging game, and that'd be, I'm definitely playing as that the whole way through if that's the case. Now the interesting part is when they disclose how the Wolf Link amiibo works. Now, Amazon France did again talk a little bit about this place called Twilight Cave, how the amiibo sort of unlocks this area that's a new dungeon. So the official name for this place is the Cave of Shadows. It's gonna be a, like this dungeon where there's rooms, we gotta take out like hordes of enemies as Wolf Link. Now, the goal or objective is to beat all the way down to the bottom of the pit, and if you have the Giant's Wallet, you'll unlock the Endless Wallet, which raises the cap from the original 1,000 rupees to 9,999, which is mind-bogglingly amount. Finish, you can tap the Wolf Amiibo back onto the gamepad, and it'll save how many hearts you finish the dungeon with. And you can try to beat it like kind of like a high score thing. As far as amiibo go, like that's probably a pretty extensive amount of amiibo content behind the figure. And that's why people are a little bit upset. It's like, why do we have to get a physical paywall to get through the I just want to play this dungeon? Why is DLC on the disc that I can't play? What if we just consider the Cave of Shadows a just a DLC? No, no figure behind it at all. So I Princess HD comes out and it releases alongside a DLC pack called the Cave of Shadows. It costs $12.99 to buy, and you can play as Wolf Link and travel through this amazing dungeon with new puzzles. And if you, so if you put it in that perspective, it really doesn't sound as bad as people are putting it. Matter of fact, it actually sounds even better, because if you think about it, not only are you getting this DLC in this $12.99 bundle, you're getting a physical Wolf Link and Minda figurine alongside it. Put it in that perspective, heck, you're getting the Amiibo as almost a free bonus. Now, it, I know it isn't like us Nintendo fans that have to pay for much DLC. Matter of fact, before Mario Kart and Smash, the idea of like DLC for Nintendo games are were non-existent. For other consoles, most promised DLC or have DLC coming out within the first couple weeks of the game releasing. And those price walls are much higher than the $12.99, plus you're still not getting a physical figurine. It's kind of freaking people out, and it really shouldn't be. Think about it that way. This is actually pretty sweet. We're getting brand new content for a really old game. Now for me personally, I don't know if it's going to push me over to edge to buy it just yet. It still really hurts looking at the game, and when I see comparison videos online, I still can't tell a difference that well. I can't. I'm sorry. I really... I, I, I can see that, yes, the line textures are cleaned up a little bit. It's a little bit brighter, but it's not the graphic overhaul I was hoping for. That Wii U tech demo got my hopes up way too high. Thinking it was going to look like that really got my hopes up too high for this HD remake. So in the end, I'm probably always going to be a little disappointed about this game because of the potential of how, how good this game could look. But for those who have never played this game before, I mean, this might be a pretty good option. Granted, I mean, I actually own two copies of the GameCube version, and I think I have a Wii one somewhere as well. So technically, I have three copies of this game already, and it'd be a little redundant to get the fourth. However, if we get more details about this Amiibo support, and I give in to the compulse to buy the figure, I mean, it happens. Don't blame me. 
So I might end up getting it in the end. I'm not sure. This hasn't put me over the edge just yet. I can see what Nintendo is trying to do. Incorporate something new and something fresh for players who already own the game, already played it, or haven't really bought into the idea of buying it just yet. It actually gives a reason to buy the game. I mean, there's we'll have to wait and see for the next n potential Nintendo Direct before it releases or just when the game comes out. But I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts about it. Do you think this is the wrong way of executing Amiibo functionality? Or do you agree like me that it's actually a pretty cool deal where you get the technical freebie of a physical figurine? Let me know in the comments below. As always, give this big, big, awesome like. And hey, you should subscribe if you already haven't. I do a ton on Nintendo and more on Zelda to come. Anyways, guys, I want to thank you for watching, and I will catch you later. See ya.